Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Uh, hopefully there's not too much background noise. Um, I want to show you something way cool. To my knowledge, there is not any other WR250R, 310R, or whatever that has the modifications that we're doing to Kalani's bike. Now, if you know someone that's done something like this uh, to the throttle body, I'd like you to let me know. But uh, this is a one and only, a first ever uh, heavy throttle body mod for this bike. Um, this was all done by Lindsay Machine Racing. They do it on other models. Um, I'm thinking that there's going to be some secret horsepower in here. We're hoping to uh, find that out here soon. So this is the stock uh, WR throttle body. And uh, the bore size we have never changed on any of the previous WR bikes that we've worked on. But uh, this bike, we've actually uh, modified this heavily. And the, one of the first things we've done is taken it all apart, cleaned everything, all the passages. If you notice, this does not even look like a WR throttle body anymore. And uh, it has to be um, set up in some machine tools in order to bore this bore two millimeters larger than stock. And you can't just do that without actually getting a throttle body plate that's also two millimeters larger. And if you see, there's a special angle on that plate so that when it closes, it closes down into the bore because it's kind of oblong when it's open anyway. So you gotta, buy, you gotta find the right plate. And then um, what's been done is all of the emissions control stuff has been removed. That's why it looks different. Uh, there used to be a big long uh, post off of this. That's been cut off and removed and filled. Um, one area on the throttle body was a little thin. Um, you can see right here, it was a little bit thin wall there, so they added some material there to uh, stiffen. It's an epoxy type material they use a lot when they used to do porting, but they uh, filled that area in so that uh, keeps it nice and stiff. And all of, the, uh, all of the orifices have been plugged, with the exception of these two, and uh, we're going to plug those just with some caps. And then, of course, right here is where the fuel injector goes in. And I think there's one more, it's this bottom one right here, which is an air bleed. Yeah, this one's been capped off. This one's an air bleed that we're going we're gonna to put the screw back in there. So anyway, uh, you know, we're talking about increasing the stroke, increasing the bore, so it's a 309cc bike. We now have uh, bigger cams. Uh, we've got head porting, and we've always kept the throttle body the same size, but when you increase, dis increase displacement, it's possible you can flow more air, so now we're gonna be able to flow more air uh, with this throttle body, and so we're gonna see what kind of net gain we get from that. Um, like I say, this is not something that you just mess around in your garage with. If you choose that you want to do this throttle body mod, be prepared uh, to send it to... The only person I know that knows how to do it correctly is uh, Dave Lindsay over at uh, Lindsay Machine. Um, but if you choose to do that, just keep in mind, um, you've, if, if you're keeping your motor stock with like stock piston, stock stroke, you could lose low end power. Maybe you'll gain a little upper RPM power. We don't know because we're not putting it on a stock motor. Uh, but if you do a big bore and a stroker kit and you want to do this, just send it to them. And you have to be prepared to retune your motor because it's going to change everything. Um, so you've got to dyno tune it. Don't just think someone's going to give you a fuel map and it's just going to work. It's not. You got to take it to a place that's got a dyno tuner and uh, can do it under load. Now the second thing I want to show you is um, the actual fuel injector. So this fuel injector has been sent over to um, uh, a place where my friend, his name is Scott, he builds uh, land speed record uh, Hayabusa's, turbo Hayabusa's, and he um, has this machine over there that he blueprints and tunes, does something fancy with these uh, fuel injectors. And so he puts them in a machine, it's like a $12,000 machine, 
and he applies pressure to them and he um, goes through and cleans the fuel injector, gets all, any, anything in there cleaned out and does something to maximize the efficiency and the blueprinting of, of the, thro of the uh, fuel injector. So um, we feel really good about the fuel injector working correctly. It's all been checked out and ready to go and the throttle body that's been modified and we're going, going to go ahead and I'm going to put the rest of the parts on. You, you remember if you're, you take off the throttle position sensor, which you have to do, um, we're going to clean all that. It has to be put in a specific place. Um, if you don't know how to do that, ask for help, get on forums, make sure that goes back on the right place. Um, we'll clean all this stuff up and get it back ready to go. So. Anyway, um, this is the first ever, to my knowledge, of uh, a throttle body mod done for WR250R on Kalani's bike. We're going to see if that gives us an extra horse or two up on the upper end without sacrificing bottom end. We sure hope that's the case, um, but at the very least, it's got wow factor, cool factor. Very unique bike, only one done that I know of at this point. So. Anyway, don't try that at home, folks. Send it to people who know what they're doing. And uh, we'll give you an update on things here shortly. But I'm working feverishly on this bike. Uh, people seem to think that you can just slap it together in a, in a couple of days and it's done. Um, you can't do that, man. I mean, everything on this bike takes a significant amount of time. Just finding the bolts and then cleaning things and, and making sure it's right and assembling things in order. And you got to sometimes we have to order a part or two here and there as we do it. So it gets done when it gets done, but we're working feverishly on it to finish it, okay? Much love, guys. Talk to you soon.